back uh, so today is another tutorial on uh, how to and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, defrost straps and how to uh, weatherize them it's gonna suck a little bit because you're gonna be in the cold getting wet uh, but it's all good so here are the things that you're gonna need some good gloves if you want you could put um, like nitro gloves or vinyl gloves or something like that to protect your hands so it doesn't get too too wet i got a five gallon bucket filled with uh regular rock salt let's see right in there with the container i got an old def container here with some salt water in it already and then i got two one gallon bottles of rain x de-icers that's good uh for negative 25 degrees i got one 10 quart or two gallon bucket and then very important you're gonna need this i picked these up at big y now if you don't have a big y in your area i suggest you just go to your regular store pick up uh raisinets these are very important you're gonna need these for energy god damn it because this is this is some fun stuff <laughs> so uh what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna start off with your solids first and you're gonna put probably about half uh probably about half a gallon or four pounds worth of salt in here so i'm just eyeing it it is what it is that's probably that's probably good right there yeah that's probably good right there it is what it is so maybe like maybe like a, a sixth of the way up up here so it's not that big of a deal so what you do is uh put the lid back on that and then uh i already took the the thingies off now you could do this with a drill you could do it with whatever but i'm choosing to just pour it right in here and the reason for this container here is so that you could just store it in there afterwards Make sure you get all of it. And then, uh, let's see. And then maybe just something to mix it with. I could probably just use this bar to mix it. Or if you got a paint stick, a paint stick should work. Let me not close that in there. So. So. Or what you could do is you could pour everything in there, but I don't have a funnel, so uh, maybe I'll show you guys how to do that another day. But once you're done, you know, mixing the solution and you dip all your straps in it, you could pour it in there for storage. Just make sure that the container doesn't flip over. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some more. I call this Saffir's pickle juice. There we go. So this is a strap de-icer, defroster. And I'm not gonna fill it all the way because I feel like I'm gonna spill it. So. And you always want to mix it really, really good. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. And what you could do is just lift up the bucket to the strap, but in this case the tires in a way so and of course i spilled it on myself so that's all good so i'm gonna cut the video off here and then uh i'm gonna get some of these straps lined up so i could just show you guys what i do and uh you might also want to get your winch bar as well so let me go do that and then i'll see you guys back here in a second right, so we're about to see I'm about to do like a little few of this experiment. So my other straps were, weren't really that frozen. And I don't I ran out of uh the orange stuff, so I just went in the house and filled it up with hot water. And the reason why I'm using hot water is because salt uh dissolves in water, but the hotter the temperature, the more the salt dissolves. So uh now I know most people out there they're like, well that's not really practical. And uh yeah i know but just for the time being and watching this experiment and seeing 
what this is gonna yield and you gotta remember or not really remember because you didn't watch it but uh i actually had some of that orange cold orange fluid down in the bottom of this bucket and it was probably about a quarter of the way up so the reason why i added more water is because i still have uh one two three four five six more straps to go and i still want to have some left over to put back inside this jug so uh i'm gonna just check the water temperature it's not even hot it's like barely warm and you could probably get hotter water than what i what i put in here by leaving the bottles next to the engine or like tying them off or zip tying them to the engine or whatnot so um yeah so i just just stirring this up I mean, if you got a power drill yeah that'll be ideal but i'm trying to I'm trying to be somewhere in between ideal and practical you know i'm just showing you guys the method of madness and i'm just using everyday tools that i would have in my truck already and, and i added a little bit more salt to that probably about two two of those chinese food soup wonton soup containers full of uh and that's not racist it's that's where i got it from but it had iced tea in it jeez louise you people you americans i swear you guys are so sensitive nowadays so i want to pick this up slide it over or that didn't make any sense pick it up slide it over so as you can see this strap is pretty much covered in ice so i am going to take it and start dipping it just start feeding it in there we go there we go And just shove it all in there. Alright, and please don't write up my comments with the that's what she said. Mike said shove it all in there, so listen here. And the ice is gone. Ice is melted. The strap is completely thawed. I'm just gonna wrap up the strap. Like I normally do. It actually winds up more better uh, because there's salt water on it and water acts as like like a semi lubricant if you will so and the water is black because of the dirt that's on the straps so, you can see that the uh wind is up below and so good morning we're back uh so we're out here at the uncasville store and we just got done getting loaded up uh but i do want to show you guys uh something which is pretty freaking sweet if you ask me so we're expecting a snowstorm today about 12 to 18 inches of snow here in connecticut uh temperature is 24 degrees i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's 24 degrees um on my truck and it is the morning after i applied all of the pickle juice strap defroster solution on here and as you can see my straps are still wet but no ice no ice whatsoever so uh i did put some of that blue i don't have much faith in it but i put that blue anti-gel stuff in the moffet and in the truck i'm having some wiring issues with the moffet so i'll have to bring that to the shop and have them diagnose it but that is not on my top priority list today 
So, uh, the winches are a little tough to move because uh, I winded up the straps uh, while they were wet yesterday. So, uh, maybe a lot of that rocks up got stuck down in there, but whatever. So, but hey, straps are easy to move. And I made extra salt brine solution uh, just so that if I did have an issue today, I could just re dip the straps in the water. So I did bring my salt water. I meant my salt water, you hear me? I did bring my salt bucket um, with me and I did bring uh, extra water with me. So I'll be, ma I'll be making sure that I, uh, you know, that I make extra salt brine or Safford pickle solution strap. I don't, I'm, I gotta come up with a term for it, but it is what it is. You guys get it. So, but yeah, this works great. Like my straps are nowhere near frozen and it'll probably be a while before they even get anywhere near the freezing temperature because the temperature right now is only 24 degrees. You can see there's some rock salt in here. Uh, the temperature is only 24 degrees and I used the orange. Ooh, that's what I got to get. I got to go get some of that. I'll probably get that at the Waterford Home Depot later after work. I'll just take the Subaru. I, w I was going to go yesterday, but I think, uh, I think I accidentally left my amp on in the car and my battery's dead. So. I just got to charge up my battery before I head out today. So that'll give me some time to go home, get some soup. But yeah, leave it down in the comments section how your day is going. What you guys think of my uh, my strap solution? And you, look, it's there. It's working. You know, I don't have any issues. And yeah, it did take an hour out of my day yesterday. But listen, I'd rather take an hour out of my day. You know, in 35 degree temperatures and apply all of this and be a little cold and still be able to work the next day rather than sit here at the store for an hour to struggle to take off two straps off the roll if I didn't pre-treat these straps so and any uh, any colder than the solution that is on the packaging uh, any cold like the the temperature if it's colder than I think the bottle said negative 25 degrees and then you know I just mixed a bunch of rock salt in it you know if it gets any colder than that then, then you probably shouldn't be using these kind of straps so you should probably be using chains and binders and stuff like that so um, I got the Moffat running because uh, it is cold out here and if you guys don't know or those of you who already know Hydraulics don't really work that well in the cold, so you got to give it time to warm up and and uh, get the juices flowing. So, and I guess today I got more than one set of juices going. So, I pretty much dumped, dumped the whole bottle of that anti gel in the truck yesterday. One of those bottles says it's good for 160 gallons. I think I have like 60 gallon capacity on both sides, so that's only 120. So. I definitely put in more than enough to make sure that everything was going to be able to, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me, to make sure that everything was going to be able to, you know, move and flow as it should as far as fuel is concerned. So, and I put like, mm, probably about a third of the bottle in that, which is way more than what it's supposed to be. But you know what, when that's the lifeline to get the product off the truck, listen, I'm I'm good with it. So, uh, I think a bottle of that normally goes for like eight to nine dollars. Uh, I didn't have a good experience with it last year, the year before last. I ended up using a diesel 911. It's the white bottle with the red cap. Uh, that normally sells for like 10 to 11 dollars a bottle, but I bought a whole case off of Amazon. I think it was like for 68 or 70 bucks or something like that but you got to get it on the off season so they don't jack up the prices on you guys you know so yeah leave it down in the comment section today is uh uh i mean leave it down in the comment section what product you guys use i'm sorry i, I didn't even finish my train of thought there uh 
and uh you know let me know what what products you use for anti-gel and stuff like that and what do you guys think of my strap solution and, and yeah and uh i think today is the 16th of december so uh what do you guys got planned for today what do you guys got planned for christmas leave it down below um yeah i'm not gonna bore you guys with all this stuff anymore so uh well at least not for today so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and crank this down and uh i'll see you guys on the next video thank you all so much for watching later